Okay guys, so guess what? Today is my birthday. So in this tutorial, I'm quickly going to show you how to create a 3D birthday test effect using Photoshop. So let's have fun. So first of all, I'll create a new layer by going to file a new and then I'll use 1920 by 1080 and then I'll click OK when I'm done. So first of all, I'm going to set a solid color over this and I'm going to use a color from this side. Let's say OK like this and then I'll click OK. Okay, so I'm quickly going to grab my test tool and start to write. So happy birthday. Now after this, I can just press Ctrl A on my keyboard and then I'll center it. Now I'm, I'm going to press Ctrl T and then I will transform this particular test like this. Okay, so after this. I right click and go to new 3D extrusion from selected layer over here. So it will quickly take me to the 3D um, layer. So you are about to create a 3D and then we click yes. So it takes us to the 3D layer. Over here you can do a whole lot of stuff but just this alone is very nice. We don't want to do anything uh, much more to this. So I'm just going to select the uppermost over here. I'll leave that to uh, something like this okay so you can just choose your colors and then you blend them up right and then I'll select the second one over here and then I'm going to pick the color from here almost all the uh, bevel and emboss those are the back I'm going to maintain the color that I use for the background so that it will blend right so you can do yours or you can do the same thing so i'll choose this color also and then finally i'll choose this particular color so like this okay so when i'm done the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to place my keza over here and then you can rotate this particular test that you've written so like you, you can rotate it anyhow you want so i want mine to go about like this okay so let's turn it small right uh, of course you can just do it like this and anyhow you want it but let me just place mine around this place okay here we do all right so when you are done click on the layers over here instead of the 3d so you click on the layers over here and then you right click on the happy birthday and then you go to render so you are going to render this particular test so that it will look very nice this might take some time so i should or uh, i'll catch you when it has finished rendering Okay, so the actual fact about the rendering is that the more you allow it to render, the more it becomes so beautiful. So you can give it a, a whole lot of time to render for all you know, if you don't have anything doing, you can allow it to render for maybe 20 minutes or so. So after a whole lot of time, this is what I have. So after everything, you just right click over this and then you rasterize the 3D. So that you can have a complete layer that you can do any other thing you want to and you can add any other thing like maybe you are adding a name to this happy birthday so maybe happy birthday innocence and that stuff so that is how to create a very simple but good looking 3d happy birthday test effect i hope this video was helpful if it was please don't forget to give it a like and then subscribe for more tutorials Thanks so much and happy birthday to myself. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.